morning everyone hope you're doing well so i thought for today's video we could do a get ready with me i've never done one of these i've only done a small little one on my instagram channel i'm also using some new um products that i got the other day that i think i put on my instagram stories but um I didn't I didn't show them but you want you wanted to see them so I thought I would incorporate them in the video today. I'm gonna start anyway with my brows. I don't even know what the time is. I think it's still quite early. Probably like half nine, but I'm literally getting ready for nothing, so I thought I would just do like a simple, easy makeup look. Um so I'm gonna start off with my brows as always. So, so I'm gonna start off with my brows. I'm gonna be using the NYX Tame and Fray. And I use this in the shade espresso 04 and then i just use this i don't know where i got that i think i got this off amazon it's just a double-ended brush with the spoolie one spoolie spoolie one side and the angled brush on the other just wanted to say thank you for the support on all my videos i think i'm at 250 nearly 250 subscribers now which is mad like i didn't think i would be i thought i would be you know clutching 100 <laughs> still um my milestone obviously is 1000 because that would be amazing um but yeah no i've had some really nice comments and met some really nice people on here so yeah no i'm really enjoying it so far to, to start off with i thought oh it was going to be really difficult with like harry and um getting everything set up and sorted but i did already have the equipment because my parents bought me most of the stuff um years ago now actually and i never really used it so i had all the ring light and i had the um the camera and everything for about god like 10 like not no, 10 years like for a good five years um, and I just never really put it to to good use and then yeah it's nice to get going and then um, get into a flow I think I'm still still learning like editing and making everything look good and yeah it's just experiment isn't it just trial and error the one thing I'm most excited to get done once this all this lockdown's over is my brows and it's funny because I'm trained in um, HD brows and henna brows myself but it never goes as well as when you do it on other people i don't know what it is but um yeah no i need to i need to practice that actually because i did lashes and everything before lockdown but then obviously i had i had harry so i kind of lost the the mojo of wanting to practice because then i'm just thinking like when am i gonna get back to it are, are we gonna like is it gonna be forever and then obviously i can't just sit and do a set of lashes practicing when i've got him to look after so yeah it's it's a difficult one but yeah i can't wait to get back into it anyway so i purchased this morphe palette so i could just have three colors that i know i'm going to use they create a look as in themselves using all three or just using them separately um, and this is the morphe 3b pure nude palette these shades are don't have a name no oh one minute they do have a name it's in the palette i'll show you the palette so this is the 3b palette and they've got kind of natural and velvet deep. hue and so you can see how these, see how are, quite these are quite good everyday colors i tend to reach for this one as it's similar to the bronzer shades that i use on my eyelid and then this one on the outer corners if i want more of a glam look or just this one for an everyday so yeah super easy palette i think this was only like six pounds or something and i got it in the sale when there was 50 percent off because you know what more feel like with those emails they send you every day like 50 percent off 50 percent off this and it's like stop it i keep on buying stuff i'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush again i think this brush was from amazon and i'm just gonna use that kind of natural color this one here just for today. Hi. 
Now after that I do my skin. So I bought this yesterday because this was my ride or die for ever. I've had this. The one that just ran out I had for years and this is the Dove Dermaspar revived range in the colour medium to dark. I don't fake tan my face anymore. I've realised that it's not good for my skin. <laughs> it dries it out. So this one is so just, it just sits on the skin so nicely and it's not too greasy and it just dries quickly and I go to bed, I put this on before I go to bed and then I start putting it on before my makeup as well so it works throughout the day and then when you take your makeup off at the end of the day you've just got this glow underneath and I love it. So I got grabbed this in Home Bargains yesterday and I always used to get it in Boots where it was about £6 and in my Home Bargains it was like £2.99 for the same size so I thought I would grab that. So this is a body lotion with self tanners for a natural blonde glow but you can use it um, on your face and it's for medium to dark skin treats with a daily dose of summer for a healthy looking bronze glow and so I absolutely love this let's put a tiny bit on this gives my foundation such a nice glow as well I was watching this video the other day about how you should massage your face um, in a way that it lifts it and it was really interesting. I think I saw it in this morning as well, which is quite funny. But this woman was literally pushing up from here and like really pushing her skin upwards and I don't know if it does anything but it just feels so nice to do. <laughs> See, it's like a massage in the morning but yeah, I don't know if it actually does anything apart from make my face super red. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to stop doing that because I'm going a bit pink. Whilst I am leaving that to dry on my skin and soak in and work, I am going to be going in with some new lashes. So these were sent to me by The Blush Boutique on Instagram. I recently started wearing the Back to the Ilia 101s. Do you remember them? They were like the day ones of eyelashes. They're so small, but then they just worked recently for like an everyday look because I was watching my videos back and looking at my lashes and I thought a bit, they can be a bit big for every day, a bit in your face and I quite liked the idea of going back and just having like little ones that look like you have extensions. These are so so fluffy, they're amazing, look at these. I'm obsessed. Right, okay, so now they're trimmed, what I do in the meantime is I need to put some lash glue on. This is so grubby, but I just use the Superdrug own brand eyelash fix glue. I've always bought this, it's only £2 and it sticks like a dream. I'll leave them to go tacky um, and then while I do that, I'm going to go in my foundation. So. For an everyday look, I never know whether to reach for the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. So this is one of my faves. This is um, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 220. I do like this for an everyday. I'm going to go in with my usual Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the colour Sand. I'm obsessed with this. It has lasted me a while so far. Love the packaging. But I love this one, so I think I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick to this one, just in case, because um, I always regret wearing the other one. <laughs> this brush is just from Superdrug. It's just a blending stippling brush. I think this is about six ninety nine. So I like applying it onto the brush first, and then dotting it around my face, and then just dabbing it. Damming it in. The one thing I do like about this foundation, and why I don't go for it even though it's quite full coverage, is that you can put it on so it's lightweight coverage. You don't have to like go crazy. Just a one pump, the coverage is mad, but still looks like a second skin, which is really nice. Whereas I feel like you can go a bit more heavy with the Fit Me. Because you're trying to build up more coverage. 
and then you end up wearing more than you would of this foundation definitely one of my favorite products so the mascara that i have been using has been the mega lash and while i wait for my lashes to dry a little bit more i tend to put my um concealer on so that just sets on my skin this is the w7 hd concealer this one's really bright gives you a nice bright under eye all you need is four swipes <laughs> it's always weird putting like new lashes on for the first time because you don't know how they're gonna sit i don't know if i've got the right eye is this the right eye i can't remember where i snipped it from yeah this one i think yeah, I really like those, they're nice. Um, so then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender, which I don't know where I put, here it is. I always call this a beauty blender, it's actually the Real Technique Complexion Sponge. Um, and then just dab that concealer in. As you can see, you don't need much of this concealer. I think I actually, I find some right bargains, I think I actually picked this up from um, b and You know, down the makeup aisle, they have some um where the shampoos are they have some really good makeup down there like they have max factor makeup that's all packaged up and um a lot of room all makeup i think i put a bit too much on my chin um they have all room all makeup down there as well that's all packaged up so i think this is only like two pound from there um so yeah i really like this one so far i did use the maybelline age rewind but I ran out of that. So after I've done that, I will then go in with some bronzer. So this is a new product that I actually have that I showed on my Instagram that you guys wanted to see in action. And this is the Morphe 8H, we'll get the names right. Morphe AH Hi-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer Highlight and Contour Palette. So this has eight shades for a glam glow in it. Um, and they are the most perfect shades. It's got your four bronzer shades and four highlights and these highlights are perfect for the inner corners of your eye and on the brow bone. I love the bronzers. There's two of these palettes, um, one was darker, one was lighter. I think this is the darker one because the lighter one ran out of stock um, but I wanted the darker one because I really liked the debutante 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 um bronzer and the fabulous bronzer because i love the ready toned bronzers and this was 13 pounds in the sale which was super good i think it was 28 full price but yeah i really liked this so i'm gonna go in and dab into these two shades here it's got a lot of payoff these bronzers so you don't need you don't need too much. Gives you a really nice bronzed glow. Such a nice warm toned bronzer. Um, and then after that I will go in with my usual powder, my pressed powder from Topshop. Um, this is in the colour Cashew. I can never get this open with acrylic nails, it's got a tiniest little lip. I've used this to death but um yeah this is in the shade cashew so just perfect for the under eye and i will use my real techniques blending brush and i will go underneath my eyes just down the sides of my nose and underneath my eye i don't drag it out too far because that's where i'll put be putting highlight and i don't want powder on top of powder underneath there bit on my chin my forehead such nice powder and it's only i think it's like 13 that's 13 pounds as well then i'll go in with my favorite bron bronzer it's not a bronzer blush <laughs> life's a peach by l'oreal i love this color the best thing i like about this bronzer with it is that it's got like a shimmer to it it's not entirely matte so i just put that on the my apples on my cheeks and up 
with my bronzer. We look a bit weird at the minute because we haven't done any under eye. <laughs> I was looking in the camera like, what have I not done? And why does it look so weird? Um, so I'm just going to go back in with the excess that I have on the fluffy brush from the eyeshadow and just go underneath my underline, underla underneath my underline, underneath my lash line. Um, only lightly. And then I will use my Estee Lauder, I can't read anything on this because it's faded so much. It's the black, I think it's the double wear pencil in um, jet black, it's tiny, I've hardly got anything left of this. But yeah, it's the double wear stay in place black eyeliner and I'll just run that along the bottom. of my waterline like that. I feel like that just brings it together any look when you put eyeliner in the bottom, bottom waterline and then back in with my mascara on the bottom lashes. I had a few people ask me the other day if I wear contact lenses and yes I do, I do wear coloured contact lenses. Um, they're my prescription ones but I get them um, from Feel Good Contacts and they are sterling grey for everyone asking and I actually have quite dark brown eyes and I feel like these um, these are from the range where they do colours for people that do have dark eyes so it actually shows up they're just a really bright grey colour so I really like them um, I can't go back to my normal eyes now I've got these because I just like I just love the look and love the look with makeup on as well right what do I need now highlight Completely forgot how to do makeup then. Um, so I don't normally wear highlight every day, but if I do, I wear the Doll Beauty Shine Bright Highlight. Um, I love this, it lasts such a long time as well. And I just use the side of my blending brush. And just, because the blush has got a bit of shine in it already, I don't wear too much on top of my cheeks and I like doing on the side of my nose so it gives you that side the shine from the side profile which I really like so after that we've got lips so I still use the same kind of lip combo I've, but I've changed the base colour um, so I go in with my MAC cork eyeliner eyeliner lip liner as always um, this is just so easy to use with any lip combo so yeah I like to be a bit more gentle with it when doing this one rather than when you go really hard with this it comes out quite dark. I haven't had my lips on in years but what's weird is that I feel like they've got bigger as I've not got them done. Like when I first got them done and they plumped up um, when they're like swollen and then they went down I was a bit like oh, okay need a bit more and I've had my lips done for a fair few years now different like different people uh, but I'm still trying to find somewhere that I absolutely love but ever since like two, it was two years ago I got them done probably even longer and I feel like they've just got bigger which is really weird and I don't know I don't know why my bottom lips got bigger but yeah I love them now and I won't be getting them redone anytime soon so yeah, no, I like the final outcome, I suppose, but yeah. Um, if you're thinking of getting it done, I, I will leave a few links down below of places that I have been, um, because they were really good and I really recommend them. Um, but yeah, I think it's just finding someone that, I, I struggle to get slots with them and they're always booked up. So yeah, it's just finding best value for money, really, when it comes to um, like lip filler, if you're thinking about it. Uh, so the liquid lip that I've been using is also Morphe. As you can tell, I went for a bit of a shopping spree on Morphe the other week when they had 50% off, so that was handy. But this is the liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. And this is such a nice pinky nude. And yeah, so this is so pigmented as well, like you hardly need any. And it's such a nice pretty pink colour. The one thing I like about Morphe liquid lips is they literally, they're not heavy at all. Like they just glide on and they feel so like silky and satin like. Um, rather than when you put sun liquid lips on, they feel like they're like drying already and they're just too 
too dry and then they crack your lip so as this one literally lasts like hot more than half of the day you never need to top it up and you just need that one that one layer and it's done and it dries down it dries down pretty quick i'll show you it dries down pretty quick but yeah it's such a nice color um and then on top of that i have been loving the nyx madeline butter gloss i love this color and that's just when i fancy like i quite like the matte lip today but i'm gonna show you this gloss because this is so nice see that shine it's amazing I find that when you use some glosses with matte liquid lips, they just don't work. But all of the NYX butter glosses, they just work so well with any um, any matte lip. Yeah, so I'm just going to grab my straighteners today. So I'm just going to straighten it. Sorry, I keep on if it's jumpy. My, I've got a Sony A5100 camera and it, the internal temperature gets too hot. Even when I film for like 30 seconds and it's not even warm. I've got a ring light on. It's actually quite cool in here. Obviously, I have to keep the window shut because of outdoor noise because we live on the road. But, yeah, if anybody's got any recommendations of another camera, I've heard the G7X ones are quite good. But, yeah, just leave your recommendations down below because I think this is more like a vlogging camera. I like the quality of it. Obviously, the videos look quite good. But um, I, I think there is better out there. But, yeah, if you let me know down below what cameras are really good or if there's any way that I can make it so it doesn't get too hot, then any recommendations would be welcome. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to get on. My straighteners are down here. I just have... I've had these for a fair long time. Love it when your boyfriend unplugs his straighteners. Right. We're actually plugged in now. Um, so I use, I don't actually know what these are called. And I never know what any straighteners are called. But these are... My mum got me these for... Christmas birthday like five years ago and these are GHDs but they were a limited edition ones um I can't remember what they're called but if I find them on their website still I'll link them down below I know they always bring out limited edition ones and because these are so old there's probably all new ones out but I think these are the ones that go up to like 235 degrees which I know hair people would kill me because that is way too hot for your hair I think you're only supposed to use like 180 on your hair but I just feel like it doesn't do anything to my hair when it's on 180. But yeah, who knows? But yeah, I use these for everything to curl, to straighten, um, to do different types of curls. So yeah, if you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial on how I curl my hair with these or how I wave my hair with these, then um, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'm just going to run over to my hair with the straighteners. I'm not going to do anything interesting today because I'm not going anywhere. This is the Naomi Chantel hairbrush i love this for hair extensions if you have hair extensions and you don't own a hair extension brush then you need to get one i also have the foxy locks ones but i feel like that rips your hair a bit more the foxy locks brush um this one's super super subtle with the bristles and yeah it just glides through your hair so yeah i'm just gonna give it a quick brush i had my hair cut into a blunt cut before lockdown literally like the monday before lockdown and I, I'm just gonna run over this like really like not sectioned or anything because I've got all my hair already clipped in. Um, and I, I loved it at first. I thought, oh, this is gonna be so easy. I think I was just trying to talk myself into liking shorter hair. But I've worn extensions since I can remember. Um, and I really did myself over a bit because it's been a bit of a nightmare blending in hair extensions with blunt hair so what I've done at the minute is tied up into a pony low ponytail my hair at the back from like up here all tied up and then all my extensions are over the top of that so I don't have like there are some shorter bits but these are from this is from the front but yeah that is how short I cut my hair my hair is literally like it was like up here when I first got it cut so it's grown a lot during lockdown but yeah I just I love extensions um, too much. So yeah, I've got it all tied back in just this one little pony, which is which has been really kind of handy when it's been hot because it's been off my neck at the back. But yeah, these are just the seamless, lux seamless, 
the Seamless Luxurious Hair Extensions from Foxy Locks, which I like, but I don't love. I've only had, I haven't even had them a year and compared to what they did look like, if you look back at old pictures, they're kind of dead now. And it's only been, yeah, about four or five months since I bought them and they weren't cheap. I think they were like 250, 253. And I always had beauty works and I thought I'd try something else because I saw lots of people wore foxy locks. Um, and these were 24 inches, but there's, there's no way these are 24 inches now. They're like 20. And I actually have another pack in that I had to buy, just a cheap pack to add to the Foxy Lux ones because it wasn't thick enough. But they are good when you first get them, but it does not cover my head. Um, and it was like 220 grams, which should cover a full head. They look good on camera, but I'm just constantly having to fiddle with them to blend them blend them in because it's not enough, not enough hair. But I used to get tapes. Tapes were like my go-to. My friend used to put them in when I bought, um, I used to buy like two packs, two to four packs of tapes. My friend would put them in for me and I absolutely loved that. If I look back at it, so I'll, I'll try and put some pictures in, but I loved that, that hair. That was like my go-to because I just miss being able to shove it up. When you've got clips in, you can't just put your hair up. Yeah, we'll find a solution one day. Maybe one day I can get my tapes back and then I can shove my hair up. But yeah, that'd be nice. But yeah, anyway, so that is what I'm going to do with my hair. Super easy, just quick and straight. Um, and then yeah, I'm ready to do nothing. <laughs> so thank you for watching today's Get Ready With Me. I really enjoyed filming things like this and just chatting to the camera. Um, and it's been fun getting to know you guys as well. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.